Over the years, there has been a rise of new FPS boosting mods and a downfall for some. But today, we will take a look at which performance mod is better for you. We can get all the FPS with pros and cons about them. So, the mods we are going to talk about today are Sodium and Vulcan. No one talks about Optifine, it's that. I'll also tell you about some optimization you can do to your system for more FPS, but in the end, Sodium is a rendering engine that uses OpenGL API for rendering games and models, while Vulkan mod uses Vulkan API that is new and good with new graphics card for performance. That is the simplest way I can explain this. Now let's check how many FPS we are getting with normal Minecraft to set a base scale of our like expectation and experiment. Okay, so right now we are in normal Minecraft. I have the same settings like 12 render distance and also I have 4 GB RAM allocated to Minecraft. This will be the same settings for all the other instances that I'm going to create for Sodium and Vulcan mod. And let's see how many FPS we're getting. And it is doing poorly. I'm getting like 30 to 40 FPS maximum. And also I'm using my Intel USG graphics. So I'm not using my RTX 3050 for this video. I will use it later on this video. So I was roaming around a little bit and it seems to me like it's only getting 40 to 30 FPS. That is the gap. It's probably because I'm recording. I will probably get more FPS like 50 to 60. Now let's check how much FPS we will get with Sodium and Vulcan. I'm using some other optimization mod with Sodium and Vulcan so there is no discrimination between FPS. Here's a boot up test that Sodium won by absolutely some milliseconds. So on the left we have Sodium and on the right we have Vulcan mod and you can absolutely see the difference and how much FPS we are getting. The Vulcan mod is decimating the competition even though it's at disadvantage because Vulcan API is highly dependent on graphics card and there is no graphics card. Intel UHD graphics is not a graphics card problem. Now let's see how much FPS I get with my RTX 3050 laptop GPU. But first let me show you this tweak for more FPS. Now here's the setting. Some of you probably know but I'm telling it for beginners who just started Minecraft. So just check this second setting and it will improve your FPS. So you need to go to graphics settings and display and there you'll have to add your game and see if your GPU preference is to the maximum highest performance. Mine is NVIDIA RDX 3050 laptop GPU. So this is how much FPS I'm getting with Sodium installed with RTX 3050 and 4 GB RAM with 12 chunk of render distance. I'm getting like 250 FPS to like highest on 300. Let's check out how much we are getting with Vulkan mod and see if it will disappoint us or... Alright so here's the Vulkan mod and let's see how much FPS we are getting with this mod. Alright let's zoom around and see how much FPS we are getting. 300, 400, 300. Oh my god 500 FPS that's there's no way. There's no way. One more tip that also that you just check if you have correct graphics art selected in your other settings. Getting okay, 5, 550 FPS. Let's go. And look at this, look at this. I'm at 32 render distance and I'm getting more than refresh rate of my monitor. I have 144 Hz monitor and I'm getting more than enough with 32 render distance. That is insane. Look at that. Can your sodium do this? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I was getting 300 FPS with my Vulcan mod. It's barely getting 100 FPS. <laughs> Sodium sucks. So, the moral of the story is if you like mods and shader, use Sodium. But if you only play vanilla Minecraft, go with Vulcan. Also, performance is system dependent, so check what gives you more FPS. Hey you there, if you like this video, I am doing a challenge of uploading a video every day for a week. So if you want to watch more video, subscribe. What is that? <gasps>